I'm only human. I'm only, I'm only, I'm only human, human. I'm only human after all. Don't put your blame on me. Don't put your blame on me. I love the song, Barack Obama man. But to say anything like, "Don't expect me to forgive him. I'm only human," or "I made this mistake. I'm only human," or "I feel like this," or "I think like this," don't blame me. I'm only human. That is where the problem lies. In the video, I want to look at enlightenment, our path as seekers, on the spiritual path, on the path of awakening to greater understanding and to greater unity, and ultimately to complete unity with Source. We are reaching to become. Uh, the master of our minds and the master of our reality. We reach for mm, the power to truly know how to manipulate energy, so that we can create what we want on this beautiful planet. And that is wonderful. If you can do that, your life becomes full and meaningful. But something that I want to touch on today is the fact that we there is still the thought that being human is something inferior that the human body is a meat suit and that is in contrast to those who truly understand and call the body a temple let's look at us coming to earth the first thing you must remember is that you chose to come here. You wanted to have this experience and you came to earth with amnesia so you don't remember. As we slowly wake up we get this urge to know more and to remember where we came from and to get the meaning of why we are here. But it is not as if any step of the journey is less beautiful or less important even though we don't have the understanding when we are still very much unaware because while we are here we experience emotions and we have these senses these senses tactile seeing hearing uh, feeling tasting that is one of the beautiful things that we can only experience as a human the second thing is the emotions yes the emotions that we experience which are sometimes in great contrast happiness against sadness joy ecstasy all all the experience pain all these emotions which give us this richness of being of experiencing that is being human and then we have the body which is specifically designed for us as vehicles carrying source energy connecting with source and create in the physical if we as a spirit travel in our dreams or if we travel in the astral we are still connected to the body and we bring back to this body and this mind the things that we experience so that we can translate it back to this reality and to the other souls that share this experience with us so it is totally totally wrong to use i am human as something inferior if you take anything away from um, from this video examine how extraordinary being human truly is and put the emphasis on those strengths on those beauty of experiences of emotions that you can feel 
of things that you can observe and turn being human as a strength and not as a weakness. So if we embrace being complete as a human here in our body, in our spirit and in our mind and we um, nourish and work on the connections so that we become a whole functioning being as we were supposed to be from the start when we entered earth then is when we start to experience what being human truly means and was intended to be in closing i was listening to a video from ecorto where there was um, somebody in the audience asking him about the journey of seeking and you will see that in my slogan i also use the words for the seekers we see ourselves as seekers seekers of enlightenment um, and the truth but in the question this person asked if how this resonates with living in the now and uh, Eckhart gave the answer that if we seek we have to seek to become deeper aware of, of the now and of the presence that we are here because we only have this moment and if we see seeking as something out there something that we reach to we are separating ourselves from the present moment which is the only moment so this is the message that i want to bring to you to fully as this beautiful human being experience being present in the now being the perspective of source connected to the greater consciousness who also can experience through you something of the uniqueness of this present moment for you I trust that you find this inspiring. I hope you have a fantastic few days till I speak to you again. And experience being human in its fullest and in its beauty and embracing it. You can check out my services, you can check out my art and what I offer on my webpage. Till I speak to you again, I'm sending you my infinite love. Goodbye.